Have you ever wondered how it's possible to predict the weather? Or maybe you've wondered about how you might go about predicting the economy. Maybe you've run into a double pendulum with large motions and wanted to predict the system's motion. The question is how? One recent advance in tech called reservoir computing, an improvement on artificial neural networks, may allow us to do all this and more. Reservoir computing can be accomplished on a PC or a tabletop experiment, and we've done both in my lab. Both of these use the idea of connected nodes, like neurons in the brain, to run a kind of learning period where the reservoir gets a hang of how the system works. By the way, when we talk about nodes, we don't mean any physical node, like a neuron in the brain, at least not for these experiments. But we instead use the idea of nodes as a helpful way to understand the math. Nodes simply mean variables that hold states and are mathematically linked to other variables of the same kind. The processes mentioned before are all examples of something called chaos. When you hear the word chaos, you might think of disorder and confusion. In the mathematical and scientific world, chaos exists in a similar sense. Chaos means that changing the starting conditions of something, even slightly, can drastically change the final result. Chaotic systems like the weather thus might appear to be all disorder and confusion but in reality, if we know enough information about the processes, we can actually predict their outcomes. But still, prediction of chaos proves to be pretty tough. Although in theory, all it takes is enough information, in practice, figuring out all that info is no easy task. This is where artificial intelligence and reservoir computing comes in. Think of all the necessary information as lots of little knobs you might turn until you get them all just right. For reservoir computers, these knobs are variables in a long and complex equation. Once all the knobs are turned just right, we can accurately determine lots of parts of a chaotic system. One part we might want to determine is unknown inputs. This is called the observation task. On a theoretical level, reservoir computers are made of an input layer, a reservoir layer, and an output layer. If a chaotic system is made of, say, three variables, x, y, and z, the observer task allows us to feed in only one variable, say x, and get out the other two by twisting and turning those mathematical knobs until it gets it just right, then outputting y and z. Another part we might want to determine is future outputs. This is called the prediction case. Here, the knobs are twisted and turned the same way, but instead of outputting different variables during the same time step, the output becomes three variables at future time steps, aka a prediction of the chaotic system. When compared against the true variables of the, of the chaotic system, both those at the same time step and those of the future time steps, once they've occurred, the reservoir computer's values are almost unbelievably accurate. The more nodes inside the reservoir, the more knobs we effectively have to twist and turn, and the more accurate our observations and predictions will be for longer periods of time. As we improve upon our model for reservoir computers, increasing their processing speed and accuracy, our predictions of those chaotic processes like the weather, the economy, and a double pendulum will also improve. Thanks for watching.